YouTube, how's everyone doing? One shot bringing you guys another Call of Duty Vanguard video, and I wanted to go over two quick things here in today's video. Number one being the free to play weekend that starts today and runs through Monday, November 22nd, and also go over the Sledgehammer blog on the patch notes for today's patch. It is November 18th, and they have just rolled out a new live update. There's also a third thing with the update that was not available in the patch notes and not up at the time of me recording the commentary, but there is double XP, double operator XP, double weapon XP, double clan XP. XP and double battle pass XP. So a perfect weekend for you to play with your friends who maybe don't have the game, level up, get them acquainted to the game and have a fun weekend. Thank you to everyone for tuning in. If you are new, please be sure to hit that subscribe button for more Call of Duty content, but let's go ahead and jump into it. So for those of you who have not had the chance to purchase Vanguard yet, or if you're just a little skeptical and waiting to see if you want to buy the game or not, this weekend is for you. Starting now, you can download the Vanguard multiplayer and play for free this weekend until Monday, November 22nd. So now is the perfect time to jump in, test the game, see if you like it, and make the decision on whether or not you want to buy the game. I am a big fan of them having a free-to-play weekend this early into the game's life cycle. It's a nice chance to get some new players into the game, and like I said, those players who are a little skeptical have a chance to try out the game and see if they like it or not. But it does not surprise me seeing the information that we got early last week, which said that Vanguard sales were down both digitally and physically in the United Kingdom, so they're going to try to do anything they can to increase the player count, and this free-to-play weekend is definitely their first crack at that. And then secondly here, I just wanted to go over the multiplayer section of the patch notes for today's patch. So I'll throw that up on the screen here now so you can follow along. Under the weapon tuning, you can see they reduce the effects of aim down sight spread, aka bloom on base weapons without attachments. A super quick description of bloom in this game basically means that when you're aim down sights without attachments, sometimes your shots don't go exactly where you're aimed. They have a tendency to go off target and what go up and down based on how much bloom the gun has. So they've reduced the effect of this bloom. So you're going to see that your shots will go much more closer to where you're aiming versus being kind of random and sporadic. And then the second part here of weapon tuning is definitely the holy grail of this patch. It reads balance pass on all shotguns affecting range, pellet spread, hip fire penalty, and more. So we can definitely see Sledgehammer Games has listened to the community. We knew this was coming based on a tweet that they had a couple days ago saying that they were going to perform a shotgun extra system. Shotguns were definitely a little bit too powerful and they needed a little bit of a nerf, tone them down a little bit, knock down some of that range, and it looks like Sledgehammer Games has done exactly that. And then a couple bullet points here under the weapon challenges. They fixed an issue where the Mark 11 launcher long shot challenges were not tracking, corrected a mislabeled proficiency required for the Mind Games challenge for the Automaton. So if you guys saw my video, I actually pointed this out, so it's nice they saw that the Assassin proficiency was not available on the Automaton and you need that to get the mind games camo challenge complete so they fixed that and then they also fixed a bug that prevented players from completing the dead eye challenge with the fighting knife next up under the ui gameplay section it says they fixed the search and destroy bomb glitch where players could see when an enemy was defusing the bomb i actually had this happen to me last night when i was playing some search and destroy with my buddies i was going to defuse the bomb and just instantly got ran up on like he knew i was there so glad to see that they fixed that for perks here it says fix the gung-ho sprint speed shooting glitch and then they have a little message that says slow down friends. For those of you who have been running gung-ho, you know just how ridiculous this proficiency is. You can essentially just sprint up to an enemy, kill them, keep sprinting, and it doesn't even seem like you interacted with that enemy. So it's nice to see that they're bringing this on par with some of the other proficiencies so that it doesn't become a crutch perk in the game. Under field upgrades here, it says fixed a bug where players had 10 times the amount of armor HP than normal. I have to say I didn't run into this at all. However, this is definitely a problem because armor is already pretty powerful as it is. So having 10 times the amount of armor is definitely not good so glad they fixed that bug next up under challenges with the grizzled veteran challenge which is get 50 eliminations in objective modes it was not tracking correctly they have fixed that so now that is tracking correctly under the xp section it says operators favorite weapons will now provide the correct amount of xp when used so there was a glitch that when you use the favorite weapon for that specific operator it was not tracking the xp properly that has now been fixed and then finally under clan tags you shouldn't be rocking the sledgehammer games in Infinity Ward and Raven tags. Now we've made it so that you can't. So some people in the game were running Sledgehammer Games clan tags and Raven clan tags, and it looked like they were developers, just a little glitch in the game. That has now been fixed. But that's it for the multiplayer section of the patch notes. That's all I'm going to go over. Let me know what you guys think. Again, here, the biggest thing I take away from this patch is the shotgun nerf. This is absolutely huge. I'm glad to see that they are making a fix this early into the game. But let me know what your guys' thoughts are. Thank you to everyone for tuning in. If you are new, please be sure to hit 
hit that subscribe button, and I look forward to seeing everyone in the next video.